Hi, I'm Rainer Meyer for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Firebase Authentication provides an end-to-end -end identity solution for your application, which allows you to authenticate and verify users with passwords, phone numbers, and popular federated identity providers, such as Google, Facebook, Twitter, and Microsoft. This week, we added beta support for Sign In with Apple. Sign In with Apple allows your users to sign into your applications and websites using their Apple ID. So you can use the Firebase SDKs for iOS, Android, and the web to integrate Sign In with Apple in your applications. Check out the blog post for details. November 10 marked Go's 10th anniversary, a milestone that we are lucky enough to celebrate with our global developer community. The Gopher community will be celebrating Go's 10th anniversary at conferences such as Gopher Palooza in Mountain View and KubeCon in San Diego, and dozens of meetups around the world. Building off that growth, we're excited to announce Go.dev, a new hub for Go developers. There you'll find centralized information for Go packages and modules, a wealth of learning resources to get started with the language, and examples of critical use cases and case studies of companies using Go. Check out Go.dev for all that and more. In April, we made Identity Platform on Google Cloud generally available. Now we're making the ability to create and manage multiple tenants within a single instance of Identity Platform generally available to all customers. Multi-tenancy allows you to create unique silos of users and configurations within a single Identity Platform instance, and it is most commonly used in business-to-business -business applications to serve your customers and partners. For more details on Identity Platform, check out the blog post below. Also newly generally available is Cloud Run, helping you focus on writing high value code regardless of where your organization is on the path to the cloud. Cloud Run brings the best of both serverless and containers together. It allows you to write code in any language you choose using any binary without having to worry about managing the underlying infrastructure. Cloud Run offers a natively serverless experience that lets you go from container to URL within seconds. You're also charged only for the resources used build to the nearest 100 milliseconds. And Cloud Run workloads are totally portable. You can run them fully managed on Google Cloud, on Anthos running on premises, or Anthos running on Google Cloud, or any third party cloud platform that supports Knative. For more details on Cloud Run, read the blog post listed below. At this year's Chrome Developer Summit, we focused on giving developers the capabilities to reach the bar that our users demand. To help further foster the diversity and capability of web developers, we've been working closely with the ecosystem to make enhancements to the web platform, improve developer experience, and make meaningful updates to the browser itself. Watch our Dev Show Top 5 for a roundup of the top stories from the summit, and check out the blog post for more links to the Chrome Developer Summit videos and highlights from the event. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Redo Meyer for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. You couldn't have just made one mistake. <laughs> Give me something to do. <laughs>